There are a lot of chemistry sets out there for homeschooling families. Kits just for kids, kits that focus on young future female scientists, kits based on your favorite educational show, and your standard kits for everyone. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the pros and cons of each kit so you'll know which one is the perfect kit for your family. Because I promise you by the end of this video, you'll know which kit to buy and which kit to skip based on your family's needs so here we go. In no particular order, I'm going to start on the kit based on the classic educational series, The Magic School Bus. They do a series of science kits and we purchased a while back the one dedicated to chemistry. This kit is the only kit whose age range starts for ages five and up. Even the My First Chemistry set by Thames and Cosmos begins at age eight. The Magic School Bus kit covers all the basic topics ranging from making volcanoes to acids and bases to surface tension and much more. And other than some basic household items such as cornstarch, the kit comes with just about everything you're going to need. The kit advertises about 50 different experiments, and while that is true, some of the experiments are pretty much variations of the same theme. Take for example cards 22, 23, and 24. And I say card because instead of an instruction pamphlet, you get individual cards that have the experiments written on them. Experiment 22 talks about mixing vinegar and baking soda in a test tube and observing the results. But you'll notice in experiment 23 it does the exact same thing. Only this time instead of doing the experiment in a test tube and observing the results, you place a balloon on top of the test tube to see what happens. Experiment 24 is pretty much the same thing, only instead of doing the experiment inside a test tube, you do it inside the balloon to see the balloon expand because of the creation of gas. All neat experiments, but they're pretty much the same thing. My only other little gripe about this kit is the cards. I much prefer an educational pamphlet. Since the experiments are brief, the cards are kind of small, there's only a few steps to each experiment. One good note about this is on the flip side of the card, they do explain in a few sentences a little bit about the science that happened. But take for example card number 13. They talk about the classic example of salt lowering the melting point of ice and essentially melting the ice. On the back of the card they explain what happens but they really don't go into detail about states of matter and phase changes. It would be awesome if you could do the experiment, read the back of the card, scan like a QR code and be taken to a website that has much more information about the topic that you just did. Now keeping the Magic School Bus Science Kit in mind, there are a lot of worse science kits out there, especially at this age range. But would I buy that over the Tames and Cosmos My First Chemistry set? I'll get to that in a second. The next kit I'm gonna talk about is the Yellow Scope Science Kit for Girls. This is the only product that we have ever reviewed on this channel that is pretty much gender specific. And I say those words cautiously in today's environment. However, gender aside, you can see when we were using this kit, I got my son involved, he enjoyed the science, and he was none the wiser. This kit has received numerous awards, so let's find out if it's worth it. To begin with, as advertised, this kit is recommended for ages 8 to 12. This kit definitely gets an award for quality. You can already tell by looking at the goggles that come with it, they are way better than the goggles that came with the Magic School Bus kit. I can't imagine my kids ever wearing these things. But these actually look like science goggles, and my kids will wear them. A nice additional feature are the included colored pencils which allow you to write down all your results in bright, vibrant colors, and the addition of the pencil sharpener as part of the lid pretty ingenious. It's apparent that this kit is meant for slightly older kids because they do some similar reactions such as the mixing of the acids and the bases but this time instead of blowing up a loon they talk about how you create a carbon dioxide gas and then you use that same carbon dioxide gas that you created to extinguish a burning flame. It's actually always a pretty neat demonstration to see. And then unlike the cards that come with the school bus you have a full-on instructional and educational pamphlet. On the bigger pages you have additional science facts and even areas to draw and write down some of your observations. And again to get back to this being for a little bit of an older audience instead of just mixing an acid and a base and looking at what happens they break a very similar reaction down into an 11 step process to really allow your student to get engaged in what's going on. As the father of a daughter I think it's really cool seeing a female-led company creating science products like this. However, where I think they missed the mark is in the pamphlet. They have plenty of pictures of female students, but not one single mention of any of the super famous female scientists that have literally changed the world for the better. Instead, they highlight science facts that occur in a girl's world. And in somewhat of a cringe-worthy example, they actually talk about diffusion by using the example of cooking in a kitchen. Probably could have used a better example, but... It's okay. That being said, the science is fun. So if you're interested in chemistry and have a bunch of girls in the home, you really can't go wrong with this. Is this the kit to purchase though? 
Hang on, we have two more to talk about. Next, we're going to review the Thames and Cosmos version of the My First Chemistry set. So why is this kit set for eight year olds when the Magic School Bus kit is set for five? Some of these experiments deal with open flames and some like the crystal formation experiment can take several days to complete. And the attention span of a five year old is just not going to hang around to the completion of that experiment. You will see among the chemistry sets around this age group, a lot of crossover among some of the subject matter. So it's the small thing among the kits that begin to separate them. For example, a science kit that focuses on female learning may be more important to some than others, but when it comes to the Thames and Cosmos kits, it truly is the educational pamphlets that set them apart. I also like that one of the very first experiments in this kit was actually using plaster to create your very own test tube holder. It turns out really nice. It's a fun experiment, and it just so happens to decrease the amount of unnecessary plastic that is shipped with all of these kits. It was a good touch. But back to the pamphlet. The pages are large, vibrant, include large font and engaging and colorful pictures. It has 27 different experiments and unlike the Magic School Bus Kit, which offers more but has some redundancy in the experiments, the 27 experiments in this group are pretty distinct in their theme and educational topics. All of the experiments in this kit will pretty much require everyday common household items like cabbage, lemons, bricks of charcoal. In fact, the kit that you purchase in addition to this banger pamphlet is pretty much just the hardware that you will need to complete the demonstrations such as beakers, test tubes, pipettes, filter paper, and petri dishes. So keep in mind, if you buy this kit, you're pretty much guaranteed to have to go out to the grocery store to buy a few extra items to complete all the demonstrations. But odds are you probably have them already around your house. Before I make my recommendation on which kit to buy, we have one more kit to review, and it's the Thames and Cosmos Chemistry C1000. The C1000, that actually sounds like a Terminator from the future. I will mix the molecules. This is rated for the ages 10 and up, and like the Yellow Scope kit, it has received the gold award among many other rewards. Compared to the My First Chemistry set by Thames and Cosmos, it makes a massive jump from just 27 experiments to 125 experiments with this single kit. The kit actually comes with legitimate chemicals for impressive demonstrations, such as potassium hexacyanoferrate and copper sulfate. There is no making of your own test tubes, but the styrofoam container that comes with it can certainly double as one. If you were to look at the instructional pamphlets from all of these kits and the reality from all the kits that I've ever reviewed, this pamphlet is by far and away the winner. The most discussions about real world applications, and there are even several sections that talk about the history and many different discussions on scientists that have changed the world. In addition to discussing the science in greater detail, there is plenty of included reading for your students on the subject matter as well. So in theory, you can do science, reading, history, all in a single lesson and in probably just about an hour. This kit offers the most efficient use of your time to do a bunch of different subjects. As I mentioned, there are 125 different experiments in this Kit. And while they are not variations of the same theme like we saw in the Magic School Bus, some of the concepts on the individual experiments do build on the preceding experiments, so some of these do kind of clump together. Pushing aside the two introductory chapters, there are eight chapters with distinct themes in this book. So if you do one or two chapters a week, you can easily spread this kit over a couple of months or potentially even a semester, again making the financial investment a little bit more worth it. Of all the experiments throughout all of these kits, the experiments in the C1000 kit the C1000 are by far the most fun and engaging, Expe especially the making of the hydrogen and explosion of the hydrogen gas in your living room. And again, having the potential to document some reading exercises and history lessons within the kit, the C1000 is easy the most multidisciplinary kit of all the kits that I've reviewed today. A few months ago, I actually did a video completely dedicated to the C1000. So if you're interested in this and want a little bit more information, you can check out the link here and it's also listed below. So of all the kits, which kit should you buy? I really believe that if your kid is a little bit older, especially 10 years and older, and already showing an interest in chemistry, the C1000 is a great investment. If your kid is younger or this is your first foray into chemistry, the decision is a little bit more difficult to make. If you're shopping just for girls, I think it's kind of a no brainer. The Yellow Scope kit is definitely a fine investment. If a female oriented kit isn't that terribly important to you and this is truly your first one, the cheapest option among all the kits is going to be the Magic School Bus Chemistry Kit. I would probably steer you in that direction. That's going to be your lowest cost barrier to entry and you can kind of use that as a screening tool to see if you enjoy teaching it, if your kid enjoys learning it, and if they do, then you could go up to the C1000. But again, if your kid's a little bit older, the C1000 is definitely a good investment. If you've used any of these kits and disagree with anything that I'm saying, put it in the comments below. Let everybody see it. Happy homeschooling, everybody, and I'll see you on the next one.